Hello everyone and welcome back. If you are new here, I am Fatima. I share my life and experiences to uplift yours. If you want to do that, you should consider subscribing this channel, liking this page and sticking around. So many of you have been asking me about Memorial University of Newfoundland, which is famously known as MAN. Just so you know, I am a recent graduate of Memorial University of Newfoundland. I have completed my master's in computer science from MAN, which is a two years long graduate program. So I am going to start a brand new series where I will talk all about MAN. The programs that MAN offers, application deadline, application requirements and all the details. So get comfortable, grab a seat, cause we are going to dive deep into Memorial University of Newfoundland. So the university nestled at the Newfoundland and Labrador province of Canada with more than 19,000 students from over 115 countries. Memorial University is truly a global community from classic to cutting edge technology. There are something for everyone. So stay tuned while I will share every program and courses MAN offers. To start with, I'm going to start with my program and my department, which is computer science. Yes, today we are going to cover all the programs in computer science for graduate students. So you can start with a simple Google search. You just have to search MSc in computer science at Memorial University you are going to end up in the department page. So in the department website, it is mentioned that the computer science department offers three regular master's program routes, and those are thesis route, course based and work term based, plus three special fee programs offered jointly with other units. And those are masters of artificial intelligence, masters of applied science in software engineering and masters of data science. So uh, there are in total six program opportunities for you and all of those are masters. The thesis route is obviously meant for students interested in working on a research project under the supervision of a thesis supervisor and that supervisor has to be a faculty member of the department. The course based route and the work term routes are both non thesis routes. Non thesis routes are open for self funded students. The course based master's program in computer science is the, is the entry point for non thesis master's students. Course based students may apply for the work term route according to the deadline set by the Department of Computer Science. The work term route has a limited seat capacity and it's really truly competitive. Students must satisfy admission criteria in order to participate in work term route. Students in the course based route can also switch to the special fee programs, which are, uh, as I said, Masters of Artificial Intelligence, Masters of Applied Science in Software Engineering and Master of Data Science. So if you are not a thesis uh, student, like if you are in non thesis um, uh, student and you are not interested in thesis at all, you can get into course based masters, you can get into work term based or you can get into any of the special fee programs. All of these are masters and you are going to get three years postgraduate work permit for all these three programs. Now let's dive deep into each of these. We are going to start with MSc Computer Science Thesis Route. So the thesis route is the default program for research oriented applicants and is meant for students interested in working on a research project under, under the supervision of a thesis supervisor. Students in this thesis route are selected on the basis of academic excellence and can only be admitted, I repeat, can only be admitted after they have secured funding from a thesis supervisor, a government agency, another academic institution on their home country or a Canadian company, but not through personal or family funds. So. To get into the thesis route, you must have to manage a thesis supervisor. You cannot get into that program with your personal or family funds. So the thesis master's program in computer science is a two to three years program. 
uh, usually it's two years but thesis might take uh, more time than anticipated so this you can end up getting one more year so this is a two to three years program and you have to uh, work with your supervisor for your research interest and you both might have to get common research interest to manage the funding so this program requires the complica completion of five courses including a course in research methods in computer science and you are allowed to take two up to two cs related electives so but uh, this uh, has to be in agreement with the thesis supervisor so you have to co consult with your thesis supervisor about which courses you are taking to complete your degree so just so you know um, this program does not have any special fee on top of your tuition fee and there is no co-op or work term component to complete your degree and there is no supervisory funding as well however applicants in this route will become eligible for teaching assistantships and programs such as grad swap applied research scholarship opportunities like midcas and will be able to work within or outside campus which is 20 hours per week this is the standard and um, after april 30th of 2024 of course now let's get into the course based one the course based master's program in computer science is the default entry point for both non-thesis masters offered by the department of computer science and those are uh, course based and work term based students in the course based route are admitted exclusively on the basis of academic merit and can complete their program taking a variety of courses mainly offered by the computer science department so the course based master's program is a two-year program intended for students who wish to further develop their knowledge in computer science by expanding their expertises across a wide variety of fields so this program requires you to complete 10 courses including a master's project and allows for up to three cs related electives and you don't need to consult with your thesis supervisor accord like what courses you are taking or not but this cs elective has to be uh, approved by the department if you are taking a business course as your elective you have to check if this is listed as the approved elective in your department for this program so uh, this program does not have any special fee on top of tuition and there is no co-op or work term component and no funding or scholarship for this route but uh, which means you are self-funded you have to fund yourself but upon arrival applicants in this route become eligible for applied research scholarship opportunities such as midcas and of course you can work within or outside of the campus and that way that in that uh, situation you have to follow the standard work hour now let's jump into the msc computer science work term which uh, i was in that route as i say so the work term root master's program in computer science is only available to those students who have already started their program of studies in computer science at memorial so there is no direct admission to the work term route you would first need to secure admission to the course based route and then in the first year at memorial you would need to apply separately for admission to the work term route so during my time there was direct admission they used to assess everything and used to offer direct admission to work term masters but now you have to get into the course based masters first and then um, after uh, fulfilling certain criteria you can apply for the work term route so let's uh, have a look what are the criteria so um, in addition to courses students in the work term route are required to complete a work term of four or eight months and with a single employer as part of their program requirements and this employer can be local national or international admission to the work term route as i said is limited competitive and selective 
the criteria used in uh, research decisions on uh, reaching decisions on applications for uh, admission or academic achievement at memorial relevant experience in the quality of the application including your resume students may, may be required to participate in an interview as part of the selection process so be prepared for that if you are really interested to get into work term route and applications to the work term route are accepted four to five months prior to the intended work term start date work term begins in january may and september students are eligible to start the work term after completion of four courses which is uh, 12 credit hours usually following successful completion of term three or four of the academic program there is an important catch students must have at least one course remaining to complete after the work term so you have to have at least one course remaining after your work term so that you can come back to university take another semester and to complete your course now uh, master uh, this work term master's program is also a two years program you have to complete eight courses including a master's project and allows for up to two cs related electives and there is no special fee on tuition fee on um, like on top of tuition fee and the work term component is required to complete your degree there is no uh, funding available for this program uh, you are self-funded but upon arrival you can always apply for applied research scholarship opportunities and you can of course work within or outside of the campus now uh, let's get into the admission requirement so for the admission requirement for a thesis route let's say for thesis route course based and work term based the applica um, application requirement admission requirements are the same you have to have a four years undergraduate degree in computer science or 20 courses in computer science or uh, computer engineering or a related area such as data science scientific computing bioinformatics or computational chemistry applicants shall normally hold a minimum second class upper standing or 75 percent in general average and students have must meet the english proficiency requirement for graduate students with higher english proficiency requirements are described in other pages we are going to cover that most probably in our next video now these are the admission requirement for all the students and fees and expenses for thesis based student if you are an international student you have to pay 1611 canadian dollars per semester which is 9666 canadian dollars for your two years and if you are a canadian student uh, but not from newfoundland and labrador you have to pay 1239 canadian dollars uh, per semester and 7434 canadian dollars for two years and if you are a new student like if you are from newfoundland you have to newfoundland and labrador if you have to pay 953 canadian dollars per semester which is 5718 canadian dollars for two years so uh, this is the tuition fee for thesis based student for work term and course based student the cost is a bit different let me show you that okay so uh, if you are into course based and work term based you have if you are international student you have to pay 2600 canadian dollar per semester and 15600 canadian dollar for two years and if you are a Canadian student, um, whether you are a new fee student or from um, other provinces except Newfoundland and Labrador, you have to pay the, pay the same fees. These are 2000 Canadian dollars for, per, uh, for one semester and 12,000 Canadian dollars for two years. So in one year, you are going to have three semesters for two years. These are six semesters and these are the like initial 
information that um, so many of you have been asking me and for IELTS I am going to suggest uh, all the like criteria for English proficiency test in my next video so for today this is all thank you so much for joining me in this video and let me know if you have any questions till then take care bye